Reedy Shields and this club. University for seven years. Took some time away, and there's an open three for Nardi. Couldn't hit. Quinn been quiet thus far. Open three. And rattled. One of two for Molly Rulo. Good hands. Felicity McPhillips, and they have to run different offense this year. And a lot of it has to do with that. The dribble penetration by Brooke Wilson. And I see the O'Hara coaches looking for a five-second call there. Really great defense by, uh, by Carly there. Open three in the corner. That one won't go. Great hands. My partner here, Megan McCullough, a star at the Academy of Notre Dame, right down the street from both of these schools. Getting started here in the second quarter. Good effort inside here, and defensively, Cardinal O'Hara able to shut off the dribble drive. The back screen for Joni Quinn, and a blocking foul is called. So that is the second personal foul, something to keep your eye on. Second personal against the Philadelphia Catholic League MVP, Brooke Wilson. She remains out there on the floor. Quick on the closeout defensively. This game, Carol beating O'Hara in the first matchup we had tonight. Archbishop Wood into Wood. Now nearly got a steal. Reese Power, Ava Renninger for three. And Greer tries to dribble away from a double team. She'll do just that, but it's in her two at that time. And they nearly got burned for it. Offensive rebound is correct. Greer. To Bacchus. And you're not going to keep Emily Mouse off the board for long. Defense crashing back in transition for Nazareth Academy. Emily Nouse gets organized beyond the line. Nice job to create the space and step into one. Incidental contact go and a good finish by Sullivan. You can see uh, Nazareth went into a zen. We'll Archbishop Wood has been playing at a higher level, at a level above anyone else in the league this year. A perfect record will do that for you. Foul called on the play. It goes against Windish. Four in the final. And something that he is intent about changing and adding more into the trophy case at Archbishop Wood. One of his best teams that he's ever had. Great take there by, uh, by Reese Power. Just can't drop it. Really two good looks and hustle at the basket. Renninger off the back cut. No good from Renninger. Two minutes and 46 seconds to play here in the first quarter. Good catch there inside. The feed for Sullivan. Sullivan got herself underneath the basket and drew the foul. Changed a little bit. Spins away from a double team. Edwards for the tie. Rousier well, Tyler. Laquan Bird is hit one. Not that time. I mean, at least to me, it looks like Roman Catholic still playing comfortably. Maybe Bobby Cottrell off the feed from Sammy Jackson. Tyler is blocked. Kept in bounds there. <clears throat> Two good opening possessions for both squads. <clears throat> Sammy Jackson through traffic, got his own rebound. I would say the shot clock wouldn't reset, but... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someday. Oh, He's a kind of effort guy and a yep. kind of annoying defender, and I, that's a compliment. Um, yeah. But we have to check his foul. I have to check his foul situation. I didn't get that. Is that his? I, I don't have that foul number either. I think that's his. That may be his second. What I do know is the 62% foul. It's important to stay clean. 
Roman Catholic stays in that zone look. An open three, trying to shoot him out of it. That's his second three, he has eight on the night. Good bucket there by Sebastian Edwards. Judge. When Father Judge notched its biggest victory of the regular season to go seven and one, beat Roman Catholic at home, had to offer as Kennedy gets inside, contacts Kellett, and one. How did they do it? Sharif Jackson. Until we go to the fourth quarter. Good cut to the basket. And another one for Sebastian Edwards. Kennedy off the ball screen there from Everett Barnes. Morton Rivera, well short. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be really interesting to see his matchup with number 21 there, Lorenzo Jenkins. Thomas Sorber has the first four for Archbishop oh, Leon. He's got to a good spot, couldn't hit it. Wild shot though, won't go. Tried to attack the bottoms. Jaden Murray on the offensive rebound. Yeah. But Ted, we talked about the key here for this one. 11-3 with 3.46 to play. Sorber, good skip pass for Ryan Everett. Got those feet set. Three. That's not really the shot they're looking for, however. See, Tory Brooks right there, fire one off, kind of like a step back motion. Not a high quality look. Ryan throws it away though. And we talked about youth and seniors. Nearly a giveaway. Time. Jerkins now. He's pulled Sorber out. He's going to go right at him. Good finish. Jerkins plays Williams. off so good with the left hand, creates space, but couldn't finish with the right. Tory Brooks hit the game winner in this regular season matchup between the two teams. He has been forced to step up in a big way with the injury to first team all Catholic, Kafik Myers. Jerkins knocked it down. And Danny, you see the difference between the first turn and hoist versus you get yourself a paint touch, kick out, step into it. It makes all the difference. Well, that's exactly what I was saying in my previous point about the aerial system right there. They need to let these plays develop right there, and they can have great scoring opportunities just like we saw. Good back cut by Jaden Murray. He was patient in the lane and able to put it up with that strong right hand. Uh, Murray with seven in the first quarter. Keon Long off the window. Thomas Sorber jumped, and a great job by Jerkins. He went for the shot block. Jerkins on the weak We're side. They're dangerous. You gotta stay ready, and, and Rocco's a good kid, and I know he is. 